Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video. Y vamos a ver los modal verbs o modal auxiliaries. Vamos a hacer un repaso de ellos. ¿Qué son los modal verbs o modal auxiliaries? Vamos a recordarlo. Bueno, estos son unos verbos que se utilizan para hablar de posibilidad, habilidad, probabilidad, permiso, prohibición, obligación, consejo, sugerencia, necesidad, capacidad y otros más. ¿Listo? Tienen similaridades al verbo to be en su uso, es decir, se niegan con not, se ponen al principio de las oraciones y son yes, no question. El verbo que le sigue siempre va a ir en su forma base y nunca pueden ir con otro auxiliar porque ellos ya son auxiliares. Vamos a mirarlos entonces. Tenemos el can el may, el might, el must, must not, will, would, should, could y vamos a poner el have to, que en realidad no es un modal pero lo voy a poner ahí, listo, nos faltan por ahí un par, vamos a ver el can Significa poder, sirve para ability, possibility y para pedir o dar permiso. Vamos a ver unos ejemplos. I can speak three languages. You can drive a car if you have a license. Can I use your pencil for a minute? Yes, you can. Tenemos el may, que significa poder. Lo usamos para 50% de posibilidad o para pedir o dar permiso. Examples. I may go to Atlanta next Tuesday. Carla may come to have lunch tomorrow. May I go to the bathroom? I'm sorry, you may not. We are in a test. Might, poder o podría. Sirve para 50% de posibilidad. I might get a promotion next month. It might rain this afternoon. Take your umbrella. Be careful, it might be a bomb. El must o el have to. Deber o tener que. No sirve para obligación o para necesidad, algo que se requiere. I must clean my room before my mom returns. We must practice for the exam. Excuse me, I have to go now. I have to pay taxes. Must not. No deber o estar prohibido. Esto nos sirve para prohibition. You must not eat or drink in the library. You must not use your cell phone. You must not smoke. You must not use the elevator in case of emergency. Will. El will no traduce nada, nos va a servir para futuro. I will graduate next month. We will travel to Europe in one week. Will you participate in the race? Where will you go on vacations? Would. Convierte el verbo en iría. Nos sirve para wish, deseos, para solicitudes respetuosas o situaciones hipotéticas. I wouldn't like to be in your shoes. Would you like to drink some tea? I would travel around the world if I had money. Should. Debería. Nos sirve para advice, suggestion or recommendation. You look sick. You should go to the doctor. You shouldn't eat so much salt. You should try the food at the new restaurant. Do you think I should call her? Could. Podría o podía. Nos sirve para suggestion, past ability or future possibility. Don't eat that. You could get sick. When I was young, I could run for hours. It could rain tomorrow. You better have an umbrella. Guys, thank you for watching. Espero que les haya servido el video.